more things that used to be just about us, empathy. And a literature now coming out showing the building blocks of that in other species as well. First example in chimps, second example in lab rats. Chimp example. Again, this was work done by Franz Duval, and wonderful study. What he showed were two circumstances where a male chimp would get pummeled. First circumstance, you've got this low-ranking male who goes up and threatens and starts a fight with a higher-ranking male and gets pummeled into the ground. Second circumstance, low-ranking guy is sitting there minding his own business, high-ranking guy is in a bad mood and pummels him into the ground. What's the difference? In the first case, this kid started it by challenging the guy. In the second case, he was an innocent bystander. And what Duvall showed is, in the half hour after these incidents, the ones who were innocent bystanders were far more likely to be groomed by females there in the group than the ones who had started it. They were able to distinguish between not just that this is an individual who just got pounded, but whether it was their fault or not, or whether they were a victim, and considerably more grooming when it was an individual who had been a victim something resembling some proto-empathy happening there. Remarkable study published in Science a couple of years ago, a group from McGill, and what they showed was arguing this is something resembling empathy in rats. Here's what they showed in the study. What they had was they, let's see, how were they doing that? They were, they would have one rat that was restrained and rats don't like it, and they would be giving off ultrasonic alarm calls. Now you put a second rat, and you give them a pain threshold test, which is to say, you put them on a perfectly cool surface, and you begin to warm it up, and you see at what temperature do they first lift up one of their paws, and quick take them off at that point. What is their temperature threshold for beginning to find this aversive? And what they showed was that rats would have a lowered threshold, would be more sensitive to this pain stimulus if they were next door to another rat giving off alarm vocalizations. But it was more subtle than that. That would be easily described in terms of, okay, alarm calls and stressful and just putting me in a more agitated state. What they showed was this only worked when it were rats, when it was rats that were cage mates. If it's rats that knew each other, hearing the other rat in distress made you more sensitive to a pain stimulus. If it was a strange rat, didn't work at all. Some, some crude version of something resembling empathy there. So we're not the only species with it. What's clear, though, is we're not the, we are the only species that could take it to just domains that are utterly unrecognizable. We are the only species that is moved by people on the other side of the planet who have just been in some catastrophe. We are the only species moved by artwork that depicts suffering, by movie characters, by fictional characters in books. We are taking it into realms that are unmatched elsewhere. There's this wonderful video. This was an advertisement for IKEA. The, has anyone seen this one where the light gets thrown out? Is anyone who hasn't seen it? Okay, this is, <laughs> opens up, it's this stormy, like dismal, drizzling night there and it's clearly freezing and you see coming into an apartment, you see an old lamp sitting there with sort of a, a neck type lamp thing and it's sitting there and suddenly this person appears, picks it up and walks outside into the rain and puts it down next to the garbage can. Oh, it's being thrown out. And now, thanks to brilliant photography and angles that are shot just underneath the lamp there, you see it leaning there, looking miserable in the rain and all alone with its light thing there. And you see from this angle in the background, there's the apartment where it's warm lights and all of that. And then you see the most heartbreaking thing. You see the person come by the window there, the armchair, and put down a new lamp, a new lamp that's nicer. And they even show the person just really get the edge there briefly caressing the new lamp and then you get a shot back out again in the dark and it's pouring and it's drizzling out. and you're sitting there feeling terrible for this damn lamp there how does this work and then just to sort of show it suddenly this person appears in the screen and says in effect 
What's wrong with you? It's a lamp. It's a lamp, and the new one works better. And then on comes IKEA, which I suspect is not actually a good strategy because you think of them as heartless individuals who advocate the abandonment of child lamps. But, like, no hippo would know what the deal is while you're sitting there feeling sorry for this piece of metal there. We have empathy, not the only species, but in very distinct and unique realms.